Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric known as a donut phone and this is Samantha's telephone from Indiana and she has uh, got a letter here that she sent in and she says her husband tried to uh, wire the phone with a new uh, cord and uh, she was hoping that it would work obviously it didn't she says and then um, she's talking about the ringer since there's no way to turn off the ringer from the outside of the phone we put a paper a piece of paper into the bell and uh, they don't want to hear the bell evidently um, and I'm thinking that they don't want to hear it at all because uh, there is a way to turn this telephone off and maybe it's still making some vibration and that's what they're talking about they don't want to hear the bell at all so anyway um, this is the initial check out of this telephone this is a shop cord that we have on it um, Sam has her own cord that goes to this telephone. I prefer that customers send in everything to the telephone. And uh, when they send everything in, everything can be checked out at the same time and repaired. Um, you know, it's not a big issue that I don't have the handset cord, but it's nice to have all the original equipment or all the equipment that the customer is going to use the telephone with because while I'm working on it, I can make sure everything's good. So anyway, we're going to, uh, since this is the initial checkout, we're going to take a look at this telephone. Um, this is the way the telephone came in. It had the uh, little modular port, which doesn't have any connections on it at all. The little contacts are gone. It was plugged into this cord. And we're going to spin the telephone around here. very cool color for one thing and this is the way the telephone is hooked up here basically at this point and yes the cord didn't work but uh, there's more wrong with it than just the cord this telephone's been dropped and I know that it's been taken apart and a cord installed but if you look at the transformer inside this telephone and I'm going to pull it out this telephone even if you did get the connections proper would never work properly because the uh, network is broken so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull this network out and I'm going to show you what we're talking about it's a pretty serious uh, problem because if this network can't be repaired we're going to have to replace it and uh, the networks are not that easy to find this transformer is broke and that comes from dropping the telephone so I'm not sure where they got this telephone at but this transformer probably we're going to look it over. It may not be repairable because all your connections are up through the bottom of it. And uh, they're pretty difficult to repair when they're in that condition. Plus, you'd have to mount them and then secure them. Uh, you know, they use a little factory glue from the factory, but uh, when these take a pretty good drop, it ruins pretty much the network. So we're, we'll get further into this telephone and we'll find out what's going on. But that's why the telephone wouldn't work properly. So it wouldn't matter how long you worked on these connections right here for the line cord. And we're going to get rid of that right now. It's of no use to us. get this all cleaned up and kind of go through everything here and see what we've got going on but uh, this is the most important situation right here right now is the network and uh, that's going to have to be gone through 
The other issue is this telephone doesn't have any polarity protect circuit in it. So if you uh, connect, if you were to get the connections proper, then your connections at your home or at the pole and everything else would have to be proper too, or the telephone may not work right because there's no polarity protect circuit. And the telephone guys that work for the phone company nowadays and with everybody that are wiring their own jacks and doing their own wiring and things, you can't guarantee that you're going to have proper polarity at the jack that you plug this telephone into. So it needs a bridge installed so that no matter where you plug this telephone in, it will always work properly with a proper polarity if the jack's good and the telephone's not been broke or anything. So we need to get a polarity protect circuit in it. We also need to find out what we're going to do with the network. And then we still have to look at the keypad. The keypad might be damaged also, so we're just going to have to go through this telephone and uh, go through the whole thing and uh, see what we've got going on. And we don't even know if the handset's working properly at this point. So because our network is broke and the telephone isn't going to work right. So we'll get some more video of this telephone as we move along in the uh, repair of this telephone. And uh, we'll take a short break right now and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we're going to run through a little bit about what's going on here. Uh, basically what we've done is changed out and replaced the network. The old network just isn't really feasible to repair. Uh, there's too much weight and if this telephone gets dropped, uh, it probably would not hold up for Sam. So we're going to get that out of the way and we're in the middle of the process of wiring everything together. So we have our hook switch out, our network, our keypad, and I'm going to go ahead and plug the telephone in and give you some dial tone. And then if you watch the analyzer, we're going to walk through our numbers here real quick. I'm going to end in a 2. Then I'm going to hang up. You'll see the analyzer. And then I'm going to seize the analyzer. Give you some dial tone again. I'm going to dial a 2, and I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, Every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we're in the process of putting everything back together again. I want to unplug the telephone. We also went with a, another replacement on the modular port for the line cord. The other one was tore up pretty good. and. It could have been repaired, but it probably would not have lasted either. So we're just not going to worry about that. We're just going to replace it. And so we're going to take a short break from the video and put everything back together again. And then we're going to do some final checks and we'll go from there. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this telephone. So we'll run through a little bit about what went on. Uh, we had to replace the network because the network was broken at the transformer and I didn't feel that it would uh, last for very long so I went ahead and changed the network. I didn't want there to be any questions. We also changed the modular port for the line cord and we have a white line cord plugged into it. The handset cord is just a shop cord Sam has her cord and she'll put that back on when she gets the telephone back. And so basically uh, we went through everything. We didn't touch the bell. Uh, they have a uh, piece of paper from their letter stuck in the bell so that it will not ring. And so they like it that way and that's the way they wanted to keep it and we didn't touch any of that. So. Basically, we're going to do our final checks. Now, we also installed a bridge rectifier in this circuit so that no matter where this telephone is plugged in, it will always be proper polarity and polarity protected. And before, it didn't have any kind of a polarity protect circuit. So if you plugged it in one jacket, it may work right. And if you plugged it in another jacket, it may not work right. 
but now you never have to worry about that because it has a bridge rectifier, a polarity protect circuit uh, that's been installed. So now what we want to do are final checks and usually we start out with ringing the telephone and although this telephone won't ring it may pick it up on the video if, uh, if I go ahead and ring the telephone and I'll just set the bottom of it by the video. I'll let that go a couple times. I'll let it go one more time. It's so faint that uh, you can barely hear it and if you were sitting away from the telephone you would never hear it. So we want to go ahead and answer the telephone now. Give you some dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers go by. I'm going to end in a 2, and then I'm going to transmit into the handset. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you see that red light on the analyzer, that's an indication, like earlier, of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone has received, transmit, it's dialing out now. We also know it's ringing, but the ringer is squelched, the bell is. And we have a button on the switch box here, and if I push that in, that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation. Now I can call a time and temp number. Uh, they're having some problems with their equipment. Uh, you will hear the recording start and then you'll hear a hum and then the recording starts again. That's on their end. They're having problems with their equipment. It has nothing to do with what we're doing here. So we'll go ahead and call that time and temp number. Give you some dial tone. number we can call my number and it'll be busy give you some dial tone now that we know that this telephone has been repaired we can return it to Sam and she can start enjoying this telephone. It's a really cool Western Electric Donut phone and uh, it's in a very unique color, yellow, and uh, it's just a great telephone. I'm sure they're going to uh, have this telephone for a long time and have a lot of fun with it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618 235 6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.